What's up guys, it's Jalen here with IG360 and welcome to the app of the week for September 5th, 2012. So this week's app is sound tracking and the tagline for this app is share the soundtrack of your life or to your life rather. Um, it has three main features actually two really um, that is to search for music um, identify music and then well basically the same too um, the now playing is just used to identify the song that you're playing uh, currently on your device so if you were to search for music um, it's really easy you just plug in whatever information uh, you have and once you identify a song whether you're listening to it out loud and it has like a Shazam type feature which is the music ID um, if I were to play a song, which I will in a second, you can identify music that's playing around you. But once you have identified a song, whether you're searching for it or I IDing it, um, you soundtrack that song, which is basically it shares it out to all the people that are following you on soundtracking or soundtracker. Um, and it's like a Facebook almost for music, except much, much more watered down. Uh, it just shows what you're playing, and people can leave comments on it or like, like it. Um, so yeah, you can follow people on here. I'll leave my username down in the description if you want to follow me um, on soundtracking. But the music search, music search itself doesn't really work that well. Um, you have to enter an artist's name, and then you basically have to scroll through all of that artist's content to find the song that you that you want to soundtrack. So that really blows, um, to put it quite simply. The best way to do it is if you're already listening to the song, which usually is the case for me. You just come to the app now playing. There'll be a song there, um, and then you just tap that, and it'll ID the entire thing for you. And uh, it's pretty cool. I'll give you an example of it now. Um, if I were to go to my music, and I were to play a song. Um, luckily, this is mute, so no copyright issues. Um, but I'm going to have to play a song out loud in a little while to show you this. But um, as you can see, the song came up. Now playing. Uh, it's going to ID it and everything. Um, and then this one song not found, so I'm gonna try a different one. So here's a different song. Um, I also closed the app because it was giving me some weird uh, like errors and stuff before. But um, so I'll have to relaunch it from the actual home screen. But that's I'll mention the cons later. Um, but anyway, like I was saying before, if it's not a very known song, you're probably gonna have trouble finding it. Um, we'll go to now playing again. Um, and then you can play like a 30 second preview or like whatever you want to do and then you like add stuff and then you hit preview and then this little this is what it'll look like um, once you are about to post it you can have it to customize your tweets um, you can share it to different places mine's set to share to Twitter um, but you can also have it shared to Foursquare and Facebook um, so I have it set to customize if not I'll just send out like a, a stock um, tweet which it'll show you in a second here um, it's like I'm um, soundtracking and then shows you the name of the song but I think the coolest part about this is that um, it says soundtracking in the end by at Linkin Park and then it hits gives you a link to the soundtracking page so not only does it identify the artist on Twitter or Facebook depends on if you're posting to Twitter or Facebook or both um, but then it also gives you a link so if somebody else has the app they can click on it or tap on it rather and then it'll bring you to um, the app itself and then they can listen to the 30 second preview um, that was posted so that's really neat um, if I go back to the main page here um, actually let me show you the trending category so this is basically just showing you all the trending stuff right now trending songs um, if I hit the first one and it this is how it basically works you can see somebody's post um, it's playing right now but I have the volume muted um, you can like it, love it, or comment it, and then it shows you, you know, everybody's posts or comments on it. Um, and so now I'll show you the uh, music ID, and then I'll let you guys know about the cons. Um, by the way, this app is completely free, so you just keep that in mind. Um, let me play a song here, so copyright, here we go. So if I wanted to ID this, I hit music ID, and I'll listen until it hits 100%.
still searching. And unfortunately we weren't able to find a match. So let's let's retry this. Still nothing. So I'm gonna stop the song. I'm gonna try a different song. Um, that was Ouroboros by Gojira, in case you couldn't tell yourself. Now I'm going to try something, I guess, more mainstream or something a little more known. Um, let's try some Coldplay and see if it can identify that. Let me skip ahead so that it's all in like Moving here. Alright, let's retry and see if it works. Unable to find any songs. I'll try once more, just like I did the last song. And still nothing. So, um, as you can see, oh, this will just bring me straight into the cons. Um, the ID system on here is pretty much crap. Um, if you're gonna go for an IDing app for music, get Shazam or a different one. I forgot the name of the other one, um, but get something else besides this. This is cool to show what you're currently listening to, but if you're gonna wanna say, oh quick, what's that song I'm listening to right now? Um, don't use this because it's like a 50-50. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Um, as you can see, I picked two very different types of music. Um, Gojira, which is like heavy metal, and then Coldplay, which is like alternative. Um, but it identified neither one of them. Um, obviously, Coldplay is more mainstream, more commonly known than Gojira, but it didn't ID either one. So when it comes to music IDing, don't get this app if that's what you want it for. I would just say stay away from it. Um, it has helped me in the past, don't get me wrong, it's identified a few songs that I was like, oh, you know, that really helped me, but usually, like, when I actually really, really want to uh, know what the name of the song is, this doesn't seem to help me. Um, so, yeah, but anyway, guys, that was just a quick look at sound tracking. This is available in the App Store, just search for sound tracking, one word, um, and it is completely free. And then you, once you get in, you can set up an account, and then you can follow people and have other people follow you. So again, my username will be down below if you want to follow me on here. But that's going to do it, guys. Follow us on Twitter at IGUSE360. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.